What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. In just the last two days since my last update video, there has been a barrage, just a slew of new iPhone 7 rumors. I did tell you guys, the closer we get to the release, the more we'll hear about it, just not on this level. Holy crap, there is so much to talk about. But anyways, another case leak. Seems like everybody just went to Oprah, you know, reached underneath their seat and found an iPhone 7 case and everyone has one to share. But this one, this one very well may be the real deal. It very closely resembles all of the details, all of the leaks and rumors, all in one case. So taking a look at this shell, there's nothing really new that it tells us. It's very similar, you know, how it looks to the older shells, but there are some details it does confirm once again. So the antenna bands, they will wrap around the phone, very, very similar in resemblance to the actual renders. If I actually cross them, it looks very, very similar to those renders. I'm just amazed at how early we know what the iPhone 7 will look like. Yeah, Apple really, really needs to get their leaks on lockdown. But anyways, the camera is raised. There's no module inside of it, but there is a slight bevel around it. It looks a little bit more elegant than currently what's offered on the iPhone uh, 6S 6. So it definitely looks better, but it's still raised. That I don't like, but if it means getting better quality camera, better module, absolutely go for it. Now there are no labels on the shell. I wouldn't worry about that. You know, something interesting that just came up today, there's an iPhone 6 prototype on eBay that's going for over $50,000 already. Looking at it, there's no labels on the rear as well. Prototype models don't need to be labeled. So this one doesn't have labels, the prototype doesn't have labels. So that's not something that I would worry about. This is probably the real thing. So even earlier than that, there was another case leak, this time with four speakers, two on the front, two in the bottom. You know, I want to believe. I would love an iPhone with a huge focus on audio output. A lot of us have Bluetooth speakers nowadays. It really doesn't make sense to do that, but it would be really cool. I think this is fake for three reasons. Looking at the Apple logo, the leaf to the rest of the Apple is so close, there's just a sliver of metal. Very, very un-Apple-like in terms of quality. Also, looking at the speaker module, if you look at that little space right there, where the heck would you fit a speaker in there? Have you ever seen a speaker on the inside of the iPhone? Especially when there's a camera that protrudes, where are you gonna put a speaker in there? It is very big, it's unwieldy, but you know, maybe Apple thought of something to put a speaker there, you know, four speakers in an iPhone, that's just madness. I think it'd, it'd be awesome, but it just seems too good to be true. Also, putting a flash unit underneath the camera really doesn't make sense because most manufacturers on phones don't do this. It casts a shadow on the photo when taking pictures in low light environments. That's a big no-no. So I think this is absolutely fake. A good idea, yes, but a badly executed fake. And another leak, this time from HD Blog, they're reporting it. It was found on a Chinese forum, which is already questionable, but it's not a case leak, it's the actual mold that produces these cases. So one is for the 7, one is for the 7 Plus with the dual lens cameras. It doesn't really tell us anything new, just that there will be a dual lens camera on the 7 Plus. And another thing to be found from it is that there is no smart connector cutout. This was also in connection with the schematics that were leaked with these molds. So those weren't anywhere to be found, which does cast a shadow of doubt on whether or not that'll ship at all. Previously it was said it would come on the iPhone 7, then just on the iPhone 7 Plus, and now who knows if it'll happen at all. But then again, this leak alone is questionable, so who knows, but the mold leak for the iPhone 7 at 7 Plus. Seems like Apple just trusts anyone with their secrets nowadays. And guys, some good news for a change. So the iPhone 7 later this year is projected to sell 72 to 78 million units. Now that is more than the iPhone 6S. It's back up to the levels of the iPhone 6 when it sold. And this is really, really, really good news because for one, it means, you know, Apple stock is going up. It's gonna be really good news for people that are invested with Apple later this year. But two, for customers, you know, people that buy the iPhone, it means that Apple might have an ace up their sleeve with the iPhone 7, something that hasn't leaked yet, some sort of feature that'll sell the phone basically to everybody. You know, Apple is expecting to sell more iPhones than the iPhone 6S, and basically they're predicting growth. That is very important, and the iPhone 7 we know won't be as big of a deal as the one coming next year, but hopefully there's still something golden about it that makes us want to buy it, something, you know, maybe waterproofing even. That would be a golden feature to me. I would buy that any day, but then again, you know me, I'm buying it anyways. <laughs> now, as a result of this news, you know, literally within hours, the stock for the suppliers jumped by 10%. 
That's good, good for everyone all around. Now looking forward to the 2017 iPhone, one of Apple's manufacturers for their organic LED display, applied materials, basically has received a four times increase in the orders for the 2017 iPhone. This is really good because Apple's expecting to sell a lot of these and what the company actually said in a recent meeting was that the reason Apple's ordering them so early is because it takes close to you know three fourths of a year to build, set up these machines in order to produce these modules. And Apple of course doesn't build them right when it's about to release they like to build them a lot earlier in advance so Apple is really, really gearing up for production of the 2017 iPhone. And that's pretty much it on the iPhones. Tim Cook in a recent interview just a little bit ago talked about Apple as a company making a cellular network and why it's completely out of the question. You know, there have been rumors that Apple is gonna make its own cellular network and kill off their competition so that they won't have to rely on third-party companies to sell their iPhones, but it's not gonna happen. And Tim Cook basically said, because Apple likes to keep things global, if they were to build a cellular network, they wouldn't have the capacity to do it on a global level, plus they don't have the expertise in it, so they're just gonna stick to doing what they do best, and that's creating iPhones. But he said he didn't rule out the possibility that they would be working on an eSIM, so this has been talked about in the past, an Apple SIM card that would come pre-installed in the iPhone that you can select the carrier right out of the box without a third-party SIM card. Really cool stuff, it's rumored to happen with the iPhone 7, and Tim Cook basically in an interview confirmed it. So guys, that's just about it. That's the latest on the iPhone 7. I make a lot of these videos, I know, but I'm very interested in the iPhone 7. I know a lot of people like to discuss the possibility of what could happen and with things moving so fast, it's very exciting to make these videos and have all this stuff just happening and changing and I like there to be a little bit of mystery when Apple releases an iPhone and hopefully later this year, Apple can surprise us with the iPhone 7 with something special. You know, they wanna sell a lot of these, obviously, they just ordered a ton of them. Hopefully, they can do that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next update. Peace.